In this video, we will take a look how we can add a border around a subject or an object using Affinity Photo. So the first thing we need to do is to make a selection of our subject. In order to save some time, I have already created and saved the selection as a separate channel. I'll use the load pixel selection to quickly select the subject. Once we have our selection, we can use the refine function to optionally fine tune the selection. Once we're happy with the selection, let's set the output to new layer with mask, which will create a new mask layer with the selection. When we use this option, it will also hide the original layer. But as we do need the background, I will enable it back. We can now switch to the effects panel and apply the outline effect to get a stroke around our subject. I'll set the outline color to white and increase the radius. As you can see, this also puts a border around the edges of the document, which is not really what we want. This happens because of the applied mask. The mask stops at the border of the canvas area, which is why the borders of the canvas also get an outline. Let's take a different approach. I'll remove the mask layer and reload the selection again from the spare channel. Instead of creating a layered mask from the selection, I'm going to copy and paste the selection. Make sure you use the Copy Flattened option if you're copying from an image layer. This will make sure the selection is copied as pixels. We can now paste the pixel copy to our document. I'll disable the selection by now by pressing Command or Ctrl D as we don't need it for now. I'll temporarily disable the bottom layer so that we can see we do have a pixel copy of our subject. Now let's switch to the effects panel and apply the outline effect again. As you can see, this time we only got a border around our subject. Awesome! There are a couple of optimizations we can do. If we look closely, you can see that the outline is not very smooth. This is of course due to the selection we had. I'll remove this layer and redo the outline process, but this time with a smoother outline. I'll make the selection again, but instead of directly making a copy, we'll open up the Refine dialog. In the Refine dialog, let's tweak the border width, the smoothness and the ramp to achieve a smoother selection. Switching to the black and white preview can help us to see this with more clarity. I'll fine-tune the selection until we achieve that butter smooth border. Once satisfied, I'll set the output to selection before applying the refine action. I can now repeat the same steps as before. Copy as flattened, paste the pixel copy and apply the outline. Excellent, we got ourselves a much smoother outline. Even though this works quite well, the best results is mostly achieved by drawing the outline manually. It takes a little bit more time, but you do have more control on how the outline will look like. Here is a very quick walkthrough. I'll deactivate the current outline effect and switch to the pen tool to draw the outline. After the initial lines, I'll swiftly fine-tune it to match the subject border. Then, I'll reposition it below the subject layer as I want the border below the subject. Time to adjust the path to fit more precisely with the subject. I'm going to make sure the path is as close as possible to the outside border of the subject. Once I have a nice border, I will open up the stroke properties and change the line style to outside. As you can see, this is not really working. And the main reason is that Affinity does not know what the inside or the outside is, as this is an open path. But with the pen tool, we can close the path. When we now change the stroke to outside, 
it is now working. A little bit of extra fine tuning to get the outline we want. Awesome, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more thickness to the line. Perfect. Optionally, you can enable the outline on the subject layer to fill the gaps you have missed. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until the next video.